Well, this is a thing unheard of. An elf will go underground when a dwarf dare not. Hello, you do people. <laughs> Today is Monday, August 1st, and we are recapping Sunday, July 31st. I'm James. I'm Tony. And we're from the Gate of Life worship team, and this is your Gate of Life recap. All right, so anyway, the reading today was from Revelations, and we're hitting off this crazy book and this kind of Alice in Wonderland type of story. It is a little loco, um, yeah. but there's a lot of imagery, and it's, it comes from a dream that John experiences where he sees Jesus, and he sees Jesus in this way that forces him to fall face first on the ground because, um, you know, Jesus appears with... His face is glowing, there's fire from his eyes, swords coming out of his mouth, he's holding seven stars and there's lampstands. I don't know, I would probably try and wake up too. He's given this vision with um, to open up the book of Revelations with warnings. He needs to send these letters to all these churches uh, telling him to repent. And plus John was experiencing all this while the crazy emperor was trying to find him and kill him. Someone's head will roll for this. This is a man under stress. So just a final reminder that Jesus comforts John in his fear as he's seeing some of these visions, just as when we journey through Revelations, we may run into a lot of imagery and a lot of ideas and a lot of really scary things that are kind of part of our nightmares. But Jesus reminds us right on the onset of our journey through Revelations as we kind of dive headfirst down this rabbit hole that there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to fear. So remember that as we journey through this. So the Gospel is from Matthew chapter 16, and it was basically Jesus showing or asking his disciples, who does everybody say that I am? Um, who am I? Yeah, who am I? Are you my mother? Do people say that I am the Son of Man, or what do they say that I am? and he's wanting to know who they think he is. Kind of like a little quiz for them at the same time. But yet, he's also reminding them that he is who he is. And so his disciples basically were saying, you know, they say that you are the son of the living God. You're the Messiah. Um, and then Jesus turns and warns them not to tell anyone that he is the Messiah. Because he knew that he had hardships on his way coming up in the future and he wanted to follow God's plan it's all in his timing and I think that if one of them would have done what he told them not to it would have changed drastically the path that God had for Jesus so then in the children's message so Pastor Angel and I brought out um, who am I was the title of the children's message again and she brought out a few riddles questioning the kids based on some of the questions, could you guess who the animal was? Because it was an animal theme, a riddle. <laughs> you know, who, who, who is an eight-legged creature that makes a web? Something that's gray, lives in the water. I didn't know that one, okay. Born and died in water. Born and died in water, that one I did know. That was a mosquito, because it's a Minnesota state bird. Pastor Jeanette opens up her sermon with a breakdown of kind of the imagery that that John explains with Revelations with a picture, a woodblock from the Renaissance period showing all the different parts of what he thought Jesus or what he knew and saw Jesus in his dream. And it covers the seven stars, seven lampstands, and everything that Jesus said, and especially the sword coming out of his mouth with the word uh, being that sword. Pastor and Jeanette said that the hope is like an anchor for us in the stormy seas of life. Um, and it comforts us in our fears and in our struggles in life. And even though there's a whole lot of imagery in the book of Revelation, we need to remember that we can't just take the words as for what we think they mean. We need to take them as what they are saying. Don't take it out of context. Actually, put it word for word, what it means. And she says it's a unique book and we need to listen and not misinterpret the words. We also need to remember that Jesus is the heart of the church. And she also talked about when we have dreams. Um, a lot of times we'll have dreams that trouble us and we might wake up in the middle of it and not know where any of that came from. 
Or sometimes we'll have good dreams and we still try to decipher what that might mean. Um, there might be a, a good story to it. She mentioned a woman who dreamt about her daughter and the dream said that her daughter was going to be okay and that everything would be fine. And she was. And I think we put a lot of meaning into our dreams and um, try to find out what those dreams mean to us. Sometimes God will speak to us in our dreams. You know, maybe he's telling us something we need to hear or showing us something that we need to be aware of and maybe something we need to pray for and might not be just for our lives, but for them. Maybe they're troubling and they're suffering in their life. Yeah, just like John in Revelation and seeing Jesus and learning about the things that he needed to do before he was even given more visions, which we'll get to travel along with and journey down the rabbit hole with John in the Revelation. So. Mm -hmm. Stick around because it's going to be a good one. If you stay in tune on our Facebook page, I do post them. So as I get them, you'll be able to see them in images from an app called YouVersion, which you should totally check out because it's really sweet for looking up verses and doing a bunch of different Bible plans and devotions. And it's got videos on there that go through the Bible, like their Bible project, which is awesome. So anyway, check it out. So now go be disciples of Christ, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. And I'm coming back to the heart of worship And it's all about you It's all about you Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel <laughs> The Gate of Life at Bethel Lutheran And like us on Facebook At The Gate of Life in Bethel Lutheran And every single Monday on our YouTube page We will post videos like this uh, To recap the Sunday before So, yeah, we'll see you We'll see you next week. See you next week. Adios. Bye. Tell you about the verses. I don't even know why. I don't know why I'm lying to you. There's nothing written here. You know, life is lying to us. And then we're getting a fan from you too. Oh my gosh. That's good tea. Now being kept in a gate of life tumbler, which you can purchase for five dollars.